What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. My name is Joshua Daniel George and in this video I'm going to explain to you what the best method of outreach is in 2020 for your social media marketing agency. No, I don't waste no time. Okay guys and welcome back to the video. Now as you could already tell from the title and the introduction, today we're going to be talking about outreach for your social media agency. Now for those of you that do not know who I am, I am Joshua Daniel George. Uh, I own a social media agency called Brand Paneer here in the Netherlands and they also have a coaching business where I basically help you guys you know, start and scale your own marketing businesses. And like it's literally one of the most common questions I get from those who are just starting out with the coaching, but also from you guys, you know, just watching the videos and follow me on Instagram or are in the, the free Facebook community is what is the best method of outreach? And like, there are so many, like I list, I Googled it obviously, um, to see what other people are saying on this topic. Um, the reason for that was obviously for keyword ranking, etc. And there are so many videos on like the best method for outreach do this to, to get your first clients immediately. This is the only method that you need. Like this is the golden method and all the other methods are like worthless and all stuff like that. But it, there is no real like, you know, golden method. There is no like, like one method that sort of like is better than every other method. And there is no best method of outreach, um, you know, for this year or, you know, last year. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not the method itself but it's the person who you are, okay? And uh, what I mean by that is it, it depends on who you are as a person. Are you introverted? Are you extroverted? Do you like being in front of the camera? Are you good, like, um, you know, with, like, literally, like, on the phone, you know, are you someone who um, is really good with writing, you know, good in copy? Are you someone that writes really good emails? Are you someone that... Um, is reaching out to English speaking countries or clients when that is not your native language. How fluent are you in English? You know, are you reaching out to people in your own language and so on and so forth? There are so many factors that play a role in this that it's re you can't really say like this is the, the, the be all end all method uh, for outreach for your social media agency, okay? Now, there are, like I said, there are so many different ways of reaching out to other uh, to other clients and uh, businesses. And just like off the top of my head, like I said, Loom, video outreach, uh, you've got emails, you've got cold Facebook outreach, you've got cold calling, you've got uh, Instagram, you've got LinkedIn, you've got inbound leads where they come to you where like you have like a case study funnel or you uh, like post content on social media like LinkedIn articles, uh, blog articles, you post in Facebook groups and they come to you, they schedule a free discovery call, there's profile funnels, there's LinkedIn funnels, there's uh, freelancer websites, there are so many ways of reaching out to potential clients and what you just need to figure out for yourself is what type of person are you? Are you introverted or are you extroverted? Are you good with, like I said, are you good filming yourself? Are you good with um, cold calling? You know, are you someone that likes uh, to pick up the phone and ring like a hundred numbers a day or would you rather like sit behind your laptop and send out emails? Would you rather um, you know engage with other people like like-minded people or help people out in Facebook groups so they come to you? Would you rather like build up a case study and just chuck a bunch of money at it and you know like literally like, have the paid traffic uh, you know get you inbound leads etc. Okay so it all depends on who you are as a person and where you are um, you know in your in, in your agency life. You know, obviously, if you have the cash flow and you can leverage your uh, cash, where you know, as opposed to your time, you can actually run ads and run ads to a case study or a sort of like a mini webinar to get your inbound leads. Or you can just literally run straight up lead gen ads for your own agency. You know, if you can, if you are promoting lead generation as a service, then why not just run leads for yourself? Run lead gen ads for yourself get inbound leads for your agency and then close them. You know, if you spend, let's say, four or 500 on uh, lead ads for your agency, you get X amount of discovery calls, X amount of leads, and you close a client for a thousand a month, you've already ran a profit and you've got profitable ads. You know, you, your campaign was profitable, okay? But if you haven't got the, time, uh, the money, to leverage you will need to leverage your time which means that you will need to do manual outreach or you know obviously you can get creative and get like appointment setters that um you know like basically get commission on every appointment that they set and stuff like that like there are ways around it obviously 
but you know you need to just figure out that if you can't leverage your money you need to leverage your time or vice versa if you haven't got the time but you've got the money you obviously need to leverage your money rather than your time and then like i said you know there is no golden method there is no uh, be all end all method to do outreach or to get clients every method is effective if you do it you know if you do it enough times if you you know basically crunch up those numbers um, if you do like let's say you're doing Facebook outreach and you're doing one method like one message every day like that is literally like 30 messages a month that's not going to add up you know you're not going to get a high conversion rate with that but if you you know send out let's say 80 or 100 messages a day you know the chances are that one of those messages will be with a client a potential client that is actually interested in what you have to offer okay so this all comes down to your numbers, okay? So if you, uh, let's say you need 10 discovery calls to close one client, that is a conversion rate of 10%, and then you need to figure out, okay, how, if that is, if those are your numbers, how many clients or potential clients do you need to reach out to to actually get those 10 discovery calls? That might be 300 uh, messages. Or if you are really good with your with your, um, your appointment setting, you might only need like 20 messages to get those 10 meetings to get that one client, okay? Or you might um, only need two meetings to get one client. You know, if you have a conversion rate of 50%, a closing rate of 50%, um, then you, you, know, you only need two discovery calls to get that one client. And you know, for two discovery calls, you only need to send out, let's say, 100 messages. Okay, so you need to know those numbers. And then from there, you need to just figure out for yourself, what type of person are you? What method of outreach do you like? And then you just need to go all in on that and be consistent with it, okay? Not just once a day, like literally you need to do it 100 times a day if, you, you know, if you're know if you just starting out and you really want that first client, you can't leverage your cash flow, you will need to do manual outreach and you will need to spend some time on it because businesses, they do not know who you are, okay? They will not come to you when you are starting out, you need to go to them and you need to convince them that you're the right person for the job. Okay, so hope you got something out of this. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave this video with a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. For those of you that are really serious about starting your own social media marketing agency and you basically want guidance on how to do it, you want to cut your learning curve in half and rather than spinning your wheels, actually get guidance from those who actually you know, achieved it and have done it, then I also have my own coaching program. I will link it in the description box down below. If you're on the fence about it or if you're unsure if I'm a right fit you know, for you as a, as a coach, then we can also just, just you know, uh, schedule a free discovery call, no strings attached, where we can basically see you know, if you are a right fit for each other. Okay, so with that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. Like I said, like this video, we got some out of it. Comment down below what you'd like to see from this channel next. Subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys in the next video.